Are the UPS man, do you have a package for me? So apparently, if you want to see the inside of Sniper Wolf's house, all you have to do is dress up like the UPS man, or you could actually work for UPS. You could go get a job and then become a UPS person, but usually the UPS people don't even go inside. They just drop the package off of the outside. So that might not even work, but that's neither here nor there. Sniper Wolf recently posted a tour of her new LA home, which includes a heated infinity pool, an air conditioned wine cellar, a massive master bathroom that's bigger than most people's entire apartments. And while she didn't mention an exact price of the property, according to Zillow, the median home price in the Hollywood Hills is close to $1.8 million. So I would say her place is valued at somewhere around 2 million. With over 16 million subs and 4 billion views, Sniper Wolf can definitely afford it though. She probably paid off part of her mortgage just by posting that house to her video. It has currently 6.5 million views. And if we're going at 2000 views per million, then she's close to 14,000 already. So since you've probably already seen the house tour, I thought I would give you my top 10 favorite things within her house. And we're gonna analyze this thing pretty closely. The things I pick might not be what you expect, but I wanna know what your favorite things about her house are in the comments down below. And if you buy a house or when you buy a house one day, what is one thing that you need to have in it? Let me know your answer in the comments down below and I'll give you mine at the end of this video. What's going on good people in the comment section? I hope you're having one heck of a day. My name is Jeremy Hecht and I'll be your host for today's video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And without any more talking, let's jump into the topic. Top 10 list. So at number 10, we have something that got completely glanced over by Sniper Wolf, but the chandelier behind her as she's showing off her kitchen looks amazing. Crack of the fence, we're in a neighbor's house and they had this dining table and chairs and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get this dining table and chairs. Love it, it's like a gray wood. I mean, this chandelier could have been the inspiration for the Sia song. That's how beautiful it is. This is also coming from someone who knows absolutely nothing about design or interior decorating. But like I said, this is my personal list, so I get to put on it whatever I decide. At number nine, we have Long Island. And not the place in New York, the Long Island. This one is a kitchen in Los Angeles. Okay, so my accent is brutal and I will not do that again. But anyways, having an island in your kitchen that long, you could do so many activities. You could set up like three meals at the same time on that island. Just take a look at this. My favorite part of the house and we have a super stupid long island. This island is ginormous and it's great because I can like, I cook on it. You guys have seen my like cooking videos here. Am I over exaggerating on the island? Maybe, but it seems it's cool, okay? At number eight, we have the secret door in her kitchen. Who doesn't dream of one day having a secret door inside their home? It's literally in every kid's movie. That's how you escape from the burglars who are trying to secretly plot against you. Or maybe I'm just thinking of one movie in particular. Home Alone 4, the kid had an amazing secret door. Open sesame. Well, get a load of that. Holy majoli. Open bar. Open bookshelf, open, open book bar, open book bar shelf, open, open book bar thing. Oh. Open sesame. Open sesame. And even though Sniper Wolf probably doesn't have to worry about burglars, you never know because YouTubers' houses get broken into all the time, just as David Dobrik. Leah's doors open into a pantry so she can secretly grab snacks anytime she wants to. Secret door, this is my pantry. So you just like touch it and then come on in. This is where I keep the doggy food and my rice. And this is really messy right now, so I'll like ignore it. For number seven, we're gonna stick with the door theme, but this time it's not a secret door at all. I just think it's a slick door. Plus, you know, when you mention the Kardashian Jenner clan having the same door, you know, you're at least in good company. Number six is this giant comfy couch. And I'm not talking about the one from that show, Big Comfy Couch. Anyone else watch that out there? You know, where she would do the, the, the clock? You know, insert a video of the clock, the, her doing the clock with the legs. I never knew how she could do it. I used to try to do that all the time at home. Never worked for me, but it worked for her, so good for her. This is the comfy couch. The couch that's not messed up. This is one of the comfiest couches in the world. It's basically made of what your bed is made of. So it's like a giant bed. Who doesn't want to lay down on the couch after a long day and not get up for hours? And that couch looks like it would be incredibly hard to get up from. Once you lay down, you might be there all night. Number five is actually Leah's favorite corner of her house, but it's only my fifth favorite part. It's the plant corner. 
Come on in. Welcome to Leah's Tea Bar. So this is my little space where all the tea making happens. I have a bunch of plants here. I planted everything. So I have like all these little cactuses to remind me of Arizona. My girl recently got me into plants, taking care of them, growing them, buying them. It just makes you feel good to take care of a living, breathing thing. But Sniper Wolf duped me because shortly afterwards, she let us know that most of the plants she was showing are actually fake. Devastating, and that's why it's only at number five on my list. At number four, we have the ice maker. That is an impressive thing to have in your house. I mean, who doesn't love an ice cold drink on a warm summer's day? And to have ice constantly being made, now that is what you call convenience. Love this, this is an ice maker. So it just keeps constantly making ice. It's got like 20 pounds of ice in it. You trying to have a drink, you always have ice. You can even cool down your drink that's been sitting on the table for quite some time. All right, we're down to the top three. At number three, we have the blinds slash views that are behind the blinds. Honestly, I think the most underrated moment of her house tour was when she showed the view with the blinds going up. I mean, beautiful view, but getting to push a button and having the blinds go up, that's another dream of everyone's, okay? Beautiful stuff. Now we can open them, and it's really cool. Just watching it go up. At the number two spot, in terms of coolest things in her house, we have her nest. And I'm not talking about a nest for birds, I'm talking about the comfy place that she gets to sit after the pool. It is my favorite place to lounge in the house. This is my nest. I live here. After I get out of the pool, it's just really nice to nap here. If you thought the couch looked relaxing, we'll take a look at that. Who doesn't want that? And at the number one spot, we have the Thanos gauntlet. So we had this cutout where you're supposed to put a statue, vase, I don't know what we decided to put Thanos's gauntlet because it fits perfectly. Look at this. This is the base. It was meant to be here. It's inevitable. It was inevitable that I was going to place this at the number one spot. My absolute favorite movie villain ever. Amazing piece of memorabilia to have and if I'm being honest, one big giant flex. So there you have it. That was my top 10 things in Sniper Wolf's house. But there were a couple of moments that I didn't enjoy as much from her house. For example, her toilet paper holder looks like it's a pain in the butt. Pun intended. So the toilet paper holder is down here. So whenever you go to the bathroom, it's like, I guess it's not that bad right now because the toilet seat is raised, but it's really awkward to like get toilet paper while you're sitting here, so. I mean, I've been in bathrooms like that and the amount of extra effort that goes into each wipe makes you not want to go to the bathroom there ever again. Like if it was in your house, you'd almost rather go in public, into a public washroom somewhere than have to deal with that every day. Also, Leah has a steam shower, which she was super jazzed about, but I think steams are overrated. I mean, they're cool and all, I don't know, but the sweat gets in my eye and just, it's me personally, you know, overrated to me. Do you guys like steams or is, or is this just a me thing? Um, this is a steam shower. So if you don't know what a steam shower is, there's a button on the wall over here. I'm gonna turn it on. We're gonna wait a hot sec and this whole entire room is gonna fill up with hot steam. Anyways, those are minuscule complaints on what seems like a dope house overall. What was your favorite part? I wanna know, what would you place at number one? Also, let me know in the comments down below the one thing that you would need in your house when you are older and you buy one, or if you already have a house, what's your favorite part of your house? Now, mine. I know you've been waiting this whole video for me to tell you what my one item is. Well, and I was being sarcastic, I know you weren't waiting for this part, but now you're here and you're watching and you wanna know, right? This, the, the, the tension is just, is just so so high, you can cut it with, with, these are scissors, but I was gonna say a knife, but you can cut it with any sharp item, even a, a shard of glass. Uh, but anyways, I'd want in my house this thing that looks like a waterfall. You've seen these before in like hotels. It looks like a waterfall, but it's really just like a sheet of, of, of uh, stone. And then the water continuously flows over top and underneath. And it just looks like this constant flow of water. I don't know if you can put a picture to show them or a video, but you know what I'm saying. Anyways, I want one of those in my house when I'm older. And I definitely, the other thing I would put is a toilet that's golden uh, and that has a normal toilet paper rack right there um, that I don't have to get annoyed by. But anyways, that's enough of me, guys. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Jeremy underscore Hecht. Dream good, live better. I hope you have one heck of a day. If nobody's told you yet today, I love you. Subscribe to this channel and let us know who else you want us to cover next. I will see you guys in a future video. I can barely breathe. I feel like I talked a lot this video. Whew. Must be exhausting to be my girlfriend.